Hi. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to take actions towards the goal that you are looking for. Because I'm sure a lot of us, we know what's the right thing to do. You know what are the things that you're supposed to do to be closer to the goal that you have. But you maybe feel like you're not doing the action. You know you should apply for this job, for example. You know you should do those 10 dials, you know you should read this, or you know this is the food that's good for you, or you know this is the gym session that you're supposed to be hitting, but you're not doing it, right? And you keep thinking why you are not as productive as you may wish, or why you're so far from your goal. If you're someone that is trying to be better in life, and you're trying to take more proper actions towards your goal, but you feel like there is something there that is holding you back, this video is for you. The answer to that is emotional awareness, okay? Everything that's new in your life is creating a certain emotion. For example, when you cook a food for the first time, you're excited, you're happy, you post it, it's like, yay, mom, dad, friends, girlfriend, boyfriend, I did this, you know? You're excited, but once you make that food 20 times, it becomes autopilot. You're used to it, it doesn't take much effort for you, you know? For example, Another thing is you have your brain, right? And your brain is telling you what to do, for example. Your brain is telling you to stand up and go to the bathroom and just pee or wash your face. And you will do that. Your brain tells you to do it. You take action. But so many times your brain is telling you, for example, to get out of that relationship or your mind is telling you to do this, but you're not doing it. What's holding you back? Okay? So you are going to learn today what is that one thing that is holding you back from reaching and being on the path that leads you to your goals, to the type of life that you want to live sooner, okay? So, other thing is emotional awareness that I was talking about. So, emotional awareness means every action that you're taking is emotional based if it's not autopilot, okay? And for you to build a habit, if you maintain the same emotion for a long time, let's say it's a mood, your mood would become a personality trait. And by the time it would become your behavior and it would become your habit, okay? So you have to start little new things that would trigger positive emotions that are those emotions going to lead you to the goal that you're looking for, okay? And I know on social media you hear, oh, you shouldn't be emotional, put the emotions I wish it was that easy. If it was that easy, then the universe over all people wouldn't be this sad, okay? There's a lot of people that are upset. There's a lot of people that are suffering. There's a lot of people that feel like there is no way out, okay? And I will tell you what is the issue. The issue is you don't know where this emotion is coming from, okay? So if you know what you have to do, but you still you don't do it, if you have that business idea for a long time, then you're taking action, by this time, if you're in this video, you should have listened to the victim mentality video that I posted before that. Here, we are just focusing on us. What I, as a person, can do. It's not the environment, it's not the people, it's not nothing external. Today, we are doing inner work. We are talking about what I can do. Am I doing everything that it needs to be taking me to the place that I want to go? And if you did, you would have been there. You wouldn't be here watching this video, okay? And... The answer is, if you're supposed to study that chapter at 12 p.m. and you find yourself scrolling on your phone or you find yourself being distracted or talking to a friend or doing something that makes you happy or taking a day off just because it makes you happy, you know, I do a lot of things that I think it makes me happy or I think I'm taking a day off to rest but i'm not resting you are technically escaping that reality okay so let's say if you hate your job and you're doing something that you don't enjoy 40 hours a week 70 hours a week and you have a day off at home and it's just you in bed is that really a day off you're just doing laundry and things like that so that's not a day off a day off is you giving rest to your body again you probably like what this has to do with me knowing my emotions and stuff like that okay so when write down all the times that you want to do something but you're not ready at that time you're procrastinating procrastinating that word is hard for me to pronounce there's an emotional block there there is an emotion that you're avoiding and you don't know what's that emotion yet because if you knew what was that emotion 
If you know your problem, there is solution for every problem. If you know what is your problem, you could simply Google it, okay? And the answer is there and you will be able to do it, okay? But let's say you have a burn on your skin, you Google how to heal this. It tells you put this cream, that cream, take care of it, it's done because you know your problem. But if you can't see it, if the problem is not visible, how are you going to identify a solution for it, okay? So write down all the things that you want to do but you think you're procrastinating. Write down all the things that you know right now it's possible but for some reason you don't do it, right? And then think about three hours before the time that you break down your goal. You know, I'm sure I'm not here to teach you how to set goals and stuff. They say you pick the big image, break it down to small ones, and then you have this weekly plan and then you have this daily plan, okay? So if you plan ahead of time for your day, these are the things that I want to accomplish, and then you don't end up accomplishing them, and then you end up doing the, a little bit of it, and then you get overwhelmed because you weren't able to do the things that you were supposed to be doing and then it makes you emotional so you just let go and you don't continue okay write down what emotions you are feeling every time you make an action that is benefiting you okay every time you feel good about something think about what was the prior emotion to that that led you to that decision okay is all these emotional blocks that stops you from reaching your potential it affects you to be not take action to simply just show up somewhere to simply just do something that is so simple that you know but you're not doing it it's because there is an emotion that's stopping you and usually new emotions are uncomfortable when you are trying to transform to become a better person to live a different quality of life there is a suffering quality that you have to go through okay and again it's your mindset that is it suffering or is this benefiting you right so it's your choice to how to feel about everything in the process, which that's another conversation for another day. I'm here to teach you how to take actions. So you write your daily goals and you approximately write down how much time you think it's going to take you to achieve that goal, okay? And so many videos I've seen, they say, make your bed, okay? Trust me, that is first a step because these little things would give you a sense of accomplishment would give you natural dopamine for you to feel like you are doing the right thing, okay? I'm not here to tell you, organize this, 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 this. I'm not telling you organization video. I'm telling you how to take actions, okay? Any action that you want to do and you're stuck on it, write down what emotion do you feel at that time, okay? There is this philosophy, it says five whys. Ask yourself why you're feeling that emotion, okay? really really be honest with yourself what is that emotion that is holding you back okay because a lot of the times they say mindset 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 but your mindset just doesn't happen it's like a muscle you have to work on it right so in order to get and take action you have to believe that you're able to finish that action you have to believe that you are capable of that action okay so if you're not taking the action there is a false belief in your head identify the false belief Okay, the false belief could, could come from a lot of things, which I will make videos about how to identify your false beliefs. Okay, but I'm assuming that this is kind of giving you a road track to what to do and what to look for to get to that emotional block. Okay, so once you find that false belief, you are going to take that action easily because you're maybe scared of the outcome. What if I put my 100% and it doesn't work? Because maybe there's a belief that if you put your 100%, it's not going to work. So you're always holding back to put 80, to put 70, to bring excuses to say, I'm tired. I was this, 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 this. It's a false belief, okay? There is someone out there in one day that their brain is able to tell them that, hey, what, wake up, do this, submit this, do this trade, do that, this, this, this. They are making thousands of dollars every day, which adds to their quality of life and their experience for them and their family but they have trained and programmed their brain to that discomfort, to that emotion, that their autopilot has better quality than your autopilot. What is your life autopilot? You wake up, what is your morning routine? You know, is it to automatically go smoke or is it to wash your face and go for a quick run, okay? Sometimes it's just like, oh my God, I'm just suffering in a waiting season. Are you actually depressed or didn't you just have a son in a month? 
when was the last time you sat in front of the sun for 10 minutes again i'm not telling you all those things to make you to have a better mental health that's another video for another day i'm just pinpointing to the little things to take actions to do what you think you're stuck there is an emotion that's stopping you and there is a false belief behind that emotion and there is a discomfort that you're preventing yourself to do that how to get comfortable with discomfort do something easier that you've done it before but a little bit higher level so it would build your mentality towards that new thing so let's say if your goal is to make extra income and there's some discomfort about it there's some emotions rejection failure reaction whatever that investment it is that is making you uncomfortable find something easier than you've done it before for example for me is gym okay cold showers it makes me uncomfortable it makes me annoyed but when i push myself to do that you are training your brain that you will be fine for example the first thing that i wanted to fast more than 20 hours i was simply scared of doing a 36 hour fast because i was like what if i'm pressuring my body what if i sleep and don't wake up because i didn't have food because i've never done that before 36 hours of fasting right that was a mental block that was a belief and that was a fear it's simple for love because i didn't want to risk my life for my family you know i was like yeah i'm training myself into discipline but what if i don't wake up what if maybe i should have needed water you know so i broke my fast because there was a false belief i wasn't hungry but i just was scared of dying you know and that happens to you when something is new when i was doing my first ice bath last year i thought i'm gonna die it was the fear of death that i didn't want to continue when you are there like i said in my videos it's a different feeling okay so anything that's available for you maybe it's jumping a little bit higher running a little bit faster something that you've done it before put that into a discomfort level that level of discomfort is going to give you a little bit of confidence for you to have a better belief system for this new thing to take actions from for okay so all your actions that you're doing if it's autopilot if you want to build better habits you have to add little discomfort new emotions new emotion doesn't have to be necessarily discomfort it could be positive it could be you phrasing that into lock in a good lock that the book that i recently finished it's teaching you a lot about how to turn your life that everything is in your favor and you're just so lucky to have it and i was surprised how it says like 50 percent of the things that happens to us are also about a lock like let's say one of these famous people said me being simply born in america is a lock you being born for example as a woman could be a lock you being born as a man could be a lock you know it's your mentality that how you see it right so even if it's the discomfort see yourself that you're just lucky enough to experience that emotion sooner because the more emotions you feel the easier actions you can take because you've done it before okay so if anything is discomfort just think about what was the emotion prior to that and build it before so for example for me i was getting uncomfortable for cold calling for example what i did i made my morning routine way more pleasurable which for example i like gym i like walking in nature you know so i made the breakfast that i wanted i listened to my childhood music i played the things that would put me in a good emotion the things that would make me feel uplifted i played the songs that was playing in my aunt's wedding and I just felt confident and because I shifted my emotion once it was 10 a.m. I was able to grab that phone and do the calls that I wanted or I was able to open the book and read because I had my me time okay shift the let's say the other thing is in dieting for example if you have a hard time choosing the food that you know is benefiting your health let's say you have some health issues or you have some gym goals that you're not doing you think about it for example when you don't eat all day you get hungry so it's so hungry to take the right decision when they say don't go to the shopping when you're hungry don't do grocery when you're hungry right so if you simply eat when you're full eat the right thing that you need you know it's good for your body let's say a little bit of protein and a little bit of less sugar then it wouldn't become 8 p.m 10 p.m for you to eat late at night and midnight because you didn't eat all late okay so for you to prevent the bad decisions that you're making every day you have to prevent the leading emotions to that result okay so let's say it was hard for me to pick the right food and have more consistency about my diet but now i'm like sometimes i crave a pretzel or sometimes i crave like a banana bread you know and then i'm like okay 
is this going to give me a short-term pleasure yes right now it's going to make me happy but if i eat this full meal that has chicken and salad and i know it's good for my body for my goals whatever my personal goal is which one would i be more proud which one would have a longer lasting emotion okay i'm not saying you will be able to do it right away because i practice my brain right now this is what is teaching me so i would say i will feel more proud if i eat this maybe instant pleasure wouldn't be there but i will feel more proud and feeling proud is what is going to bring you confidence right and i still am very behind from my financial goals because the confidence is going away by the time when you don't reach the results that you want and then the reactions that people are giving you all these things but when i'm good at this little things that i can't do and it's better than a lot of people in my environment for example this decision in this one it could be you painting anything that you're great at if you add more discipline towards that little thing you will build more confidence visibly to put towards something that may take extra time that the emotions are more triggering towards your goals okay so in order for you to know what is your problem you have to know what's the false belief once you know what's the false belief how do you know that you have to dive into what emotion led you to make that decision sometimes lack of sleep would make you to make those bad emotions okay and i don't want to tell you a different video of how to make better decisions because that's another day but the goal here right now is if you want to take the right action and you feel like you're stuck you have to do emotional work and you have to find out what emotion led you find a 24-hour list write down what you felt every minute for example one thing that recently found that midday the days i was home that i was working from home I noticed I'm spending and talking to my roommate. I love her. I enjoy talking to her. But then I realized every day around 6 p.m. I'm about to cry. I'm stressed. I'm overwhelmed because from 2 to 5, I spent dancing. I spent talking. And that was the leading emotion for me to be overwhelmed at 6 p.m. To want to finish my work day and to not work till 9 because I did something to make myself happy. But right now, I was just like, right now being happy doesn't matter i'm doing the right thing that's good for me and i know i'm gonna be more genuinely happy because for example what i miss in my life right now is my family is not my roommate is not my close friends it's not partying outside right so if i keep making this little daily quick instant pleasures over investing and putting my time more efficiently myself then obviously i'm going to be in the same track okay so these are the little things that you can track every day to know how did you spend your time you know time management is a big thing for you to be able to take actions if you don't know how to manage your time you don't know a lot of us may think we know how to manage our time but you don't know a lot can be achieved in 24 hours you've heard it before beyonce all these look belmar what anyone that you know i don't even like to name people they have the same exact 24 hour but they achieve more they feel maybe better you don't know what people are feeling but there is a lot of qualities that you look for in your inspirations that you wish to have in your life is simply because they know what they feel every day and you have to make adjustments to shift that emotion how to neutralize you say one bad moment doesn't mean one bad hour one bad hour doesn't mean one bad day sometimes i do find myself not doing anything all day because i just had one bad thing happen and i just wasn't able to bounce back okay so taking action is simply for something new is how do you manage the emotion prior to that and then if you plan things to do prior to that to give that happiness to have that me time it would encourage you to be more confident to do that you know what i mean you accomplish the best things in your life you usually are your best performance when you had a good preparation You've heard it probably before a good preparation would prevent a bad performance okay so in order for you to take action at 4 p.m you have to make sure at 12 p.m you're on the right track that's why for example for me i've changed my workouts on my diet from morning from night to morning because once i do that you've heard it before it makes you to respect yourself more when i eat my first meal as a good thing I have the motive to continue it be good versus a year ago if i eat one bad thing i was like oh i already run i'm gonna eat 10 more bad things no it's a matter of me reminding myself every decision that i'm making on a daily basis is this going to 
benefit me you know and like before sometimes i used to think if i just lay in my bed and lay down and not be in that toxic environment i'm going to feel better and i'm rested sometimes you being in bed is not rest you know and yeah maybe it's a lot for you to like take actions and walk out but you need to put that little push for you to understand is your rest day is actually your rest day or are you escaping these are the questions you have to ask from yourself okay write down your goal while you're trying to be realistic about it sometimes we don't even know what's realistic that's another video for another day because you could be expecting high from yourself and then your outcome could be less you know it's because you what's the word um and st anticipated things in a wrong way which that's another way how to anticipate how to know your emotions and your capability and your productivity and your time management and your discipline to know that this outcome is achievable in this stimulated anticipated time okay and a lot of us as a perfectionist person i'll tell you another experiment that i heard a couple of days ago which was really good so there's two group of people i'm just going to summarize it for you 10 of them, uh, they tell them, hey, you're only allowed to make one perfect vase with like clay and like they give them all the ingredients and I tell them do all the measurement research after three days or so, we need the perfect vase from you guys, right? Like a pottery. Then there's another group of 10, they tell them, hey, we don't care about the quality, we don't care about what it is, just make as many as vases you can for the next three days, okay? So after three days, they go and check these two groups. This group, because they were so worried about the outcome, because they were trying and focused too much on the measurement and because they only thought that they had to make one perfect race, the quality of ours was terrible. They were so much anxious. They were so stressed because they had to think too far, okay? And there's this other group that they just focused on the quantity and they just took more actions and it's just, was better like the results were way better because of the experience because they took more actions and they learned by the time versus them just not doing it you know and obviously when i'm telling you this come from memory maybe some parts of it less or more but the message that i'm trying to tell you is that sometimes us being too smart us being too emotionally intelligent could stop you from achieving and taking actions because you are overthinking it okay and let's say if you just trying to measure too much to do to hit the light target but versus if you just do it it would give you experience by the time you know but again why and what is there that is stopping you from taking that action for you to repeat that action enough to be on autopilot for that quality from being new to you as emotion to be as a habit to be as autopilot routine okay that it's simple for you let's say you brushing your teeth is autopilot you going to bed is autopilot you washing your hair is autopilot there's no emotion you don't cry when you want to shower you don't cry when you want to brush your teeth because you've done it and you know it's good for you and it became natural and you always find the time to do it you know i hope so <laughs> so this is why you need to focus what emotion is stopping you and what emotion are you really feeling okay and put that emotion all on yourself it's no one else okay anything you need to know youtube now it's the day that there's too much information so when you are scrolling on social media and just getting this dopamine boost think about it what are you using that for take notes of what you learn every week and are you applying it you know like you can't just like read books and then not apply it you know and then when you learn something and you don't apply it your mentors are not gonna be respecting you anymore your resources you're gonna lose them because you're not applying them right so instead of trying to be super perfectionist and overthink the outcome and having that false belief that oh i'm gonna do this this is me like another thing that I, another false belief that i had is that i'm either nothing or everything you know like let's say i always been to sales oh i don't sell anything the first two weeks last week i'll cover and i always did that anyone that worked with me in the four or five years in sales they know that I'm a type of person that the first two weeks of the month, I'm recovering from the previous months because I pushed in the last two weeks, right? And because of the nature of the job that I had, usually the offers are at the end of the week, but that built a bad habit for me that became a personality trait to me that it's okay if I slack for two weeks, I can bounce back even in one week. And because I've done it before and it's been proven to me, all these overnight school days, all this one day success that I've had, it built bad habit for me it's the fault it's a belief that i have but right now in the new industry that i am this is not going to work 
it's more about consistency it's more about discipline it's more about doing it enough that it becomes autopilot it's like gym let's say if you if someone comes here, another thing is in terms of taking actions, and there are maybe some people who are taking action and they're doing, but they're not seeing results and they're not seeing progress, you know? You have to also know, are you on the right path or are you wasting your time? How do you know that, okay? Let's say anyone with any experience of gym, someone comes up to me and says, hey, I went to the gym, I grabbed this five pound dumbbell and I did bicep curls for an hour. For an hour, you do this, five pounds of bicep curl, an hour, you put the time, you put the energy and you did the work is it gonna give you anything it's it's gonna damage you it's gonna stress you out it's it's not good right so you have to also have the knowledge to be able to track your progress right and that progress is not always visible which another video for another day for you to know that just because it's not visible it doesn't mean it's not there you know there was this video that jason capital he said he said there's this biggest stone you're hitting it a hundred times it has cracks and cracks and cracks but it doesn't damage everybody maybe is laughing at you oh where is this oh we expect more from you but that 101 bang it would be crushed to everything and you would see all the bamboos i think they're like they don't grow for six months and then one night they're like seven meters or something high so again these are the things that you have to remind yourself during the process so a lot of the people also they would tell you like oh if your why is strong you will get there no if you you we all have why's and the why is simply family that's it like it's not a big deal to have a why we all have a sad story we all have a bigger story to tell we all have this amazing things that we want to say but the thing is what emotion is stopping you to the action for the why that you have you know it's easy to have reasons everybody 90 percent of people have a business idea how many people take actions if you go read the stats I think only like 5% 10% take actions. Out of that some percentage, only some of them la uh, stay more than two years. A lot of people that you know, your friends during COVID, they had a business, clothing brands, whatever, go out to their Instagram. Their last video was posted was 2020, 2021. People give up and only a few of those businesses, low percentage last more than five years. And out of those ones who last more than five years, a lot of them, are very successful now making millions and some of them are also going bankrupt after 10 years you know so for you to get there i saw this video today too it's a, like a business is like a child you know at first they need so much energy like they may poop but then they start walking a little bit they're risky you know so they may put themselves in danger so it's like your business you know once it starts going after three four years and you're like oh maybe you did one bad order one bad review one bad case could sue you you know and then once after five years they're more independent like children it could run itself and you could communicate you know you have the experience there so we don't want to go to the deep image so i brought all these little things that whatever your goal is for you to take actions towards that goal you need to know what you're feeling why you are feeling that what was prior to that and how can you change your emotion before that time so you can take actions at the right time that you want because a lot of us have time it's not the time that's the problem okay and if you have issues over your time you have to find the time to be able to invest in yourself right now i'm at the stage that i have enough time to put in myself because i've had other times where i took away a lot of other distractions to focus on myself but you can't go to the gym eight hours a day for example and expect your body to grow you need rest some things take time you know so i had to again add those little things took myself out of isolation go out be a little bit more social have balance so i can have better emotions to do that thing you know so all these things i had so many points the thing is find that false belief that is stopping you from taking actions then find that belief that is causing that emotion okay because it's like someone could break something in a window 10 people could see it people could have different takeaway from that action you know so you have to make sure that whatever you are perceiving however you're closing that story however you are having a conversation or anything that you're ending or starting it is something that would push you to the next level and it's more of a lock and great things happening to you because if you have all the right beliefs you would be on the right place so believe that you belong there it would become is other thing that i've heard before and i'm just summarizing all the points that i learned i wanted to make this video five to ten minutes but there are so many things that are there and the other thing is 
Again, this is not me preaching to you to believe in God and whatever religion you have. But the reason why believing is God and going to help you is because you don't see him. But he's there and he has your back and he's showing you the right path to be. So sometimes you don't need to constantly apply for 400 jobs. You don't need to constantly study or do too much. Because some of us maybe we are doing too much. Sometimes you just have to be still and believe that you're worthy and then thing will come to you. You know, it's not all you. You know, you have to believe that it's 50 verse in you. You know, God will give it to you. I've already said it a million times before that sometimes you just have to sit down and be like, God, you know what I want. You know what it is. And you don't get what you want. When you say, I need this, I want this, it will. All these things are coming from a lacking mindset, coming from the fact that you don't have it. They say universe only says yes. You don't say, I need a job. Universe says, yes, you do need a job. You fucked up, you know. When you say, I have a job, I have extra 10,000 in my bank account I have extra 100,000 in my bank account I have extra 100 million in my bank account universe says yes energy positivity all the things that are around you are working in your favor okay so if you think about all these things and stuff thinking now oh, this person is gonna say no they're gonna hate me for this 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 which I still do have those mentality but shift it in a way that I'm lucky they are I'm the best thing that could happen to this person I'm the best person in this job this 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 Build that emotional confidence because it's not confidence also that gets you ahead in life, but confidence gives you enough courage for you to start it. But for you to continue it, you have to have discipline. And to build that discipline to be on autopilot, I'm summarizing everything, you have to do those discomfort, little discomforts. And the more you have little achievements, you build that muscle stronger for you to take action towards what you have. So find the false belief address that emotion find a way to make switch that emotion neutralize the negative if you talk to someone negative neutralize it if you don't know how to come out of a relationship go back and find what is that false belief okay so i'm sure this would help you because it's not about you not knowing what to do you know what you need to do you just don't take action and the reason why you're not taking action because there is an emotional block and once you find an emotional block it's not like your life would change in a day it's a muscle but you will be closer and you will see more results, which will give you more confidence because it's about how you manage your time towards your goal, okay? And make sure you have rest days, not just escaping, okay? Have a good day, bye.